The following portion of My Carolina is sponsored by... We are back out at Tryon Family Dentistry in Zebulon. This time we're talking about dental implants. I am back with Dr. David Harrington to learn all about this process. Thanks for having us back out. Thank you. Yeah. Nice okay. See you again. So first and foremost, what is an implant? So an implant is a replacement for a missing tooth. Right. Uh, they are typically made out of titanium. There are some other materials, but it's a replacement for the tooth root. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can put various attachments on top to either replace a, a single tooth or many teeth, depending on the situation. So is it vital if you are missing a tooth to have an implant put in, or is that a necessary thing that you should do? Uh, yes, yeah, very important. Um, again, depending on the situation, um, Missing teeth can cause a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. The teeth around the space shift. They can cause problems with being able to chew, to talk, even to talk. Right. So it's very important. Okay, and you guys actually have some great technology to help with implants and this whole procedure. Tell me about that. We do. Well, we uh, we are now using a robot to do robotically guided implant placement, cool. and it opens up a whole new avenue of treatment options yeah. for us, where we can sometimes put a tooth on our implant on the same day. The patient walks in with a broken tooth and walks out with a whole brand wow. new tooth never changing their function or their smile. That's amazing. So it's really, <laughs> it's a really uh, a simple process. It's no longer uh, a full day or multi multiple days in a row to, to take care of this problem. Right, it can be. Traditionally, implants go in many stages. Okay. I tell people it's often like uh, a healing a broken bone. Right. It can take months. It has to be very uh, still. Mm -hmm. You can't rock the implant, things like that. Okay. Um, but with, with our new technology, we can really plan ahead and sometimes uh, create the stability we need to, to speed things up quite a bit. So how many visits should a patient expect with uh, an implant? Uh, it's, it does take multiple appointments in most cases. Mm -hmm. um, depending on the, the clinical scenario, if there's a big infection, uh, you know, if we have to rebuild the bone so that the implant can hold, right. uh, it may take multiple visits. Sometimes uh, a broken tooth we can treat all in one visit. Okay, very cool. Alrighty, so um, does it take a long time for implants to heal after the process? What's the aftercare like? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, uh, healing, an, an, so an implant grows into the bone. It's a replacement tooth root okay. that screws, essentially screws into the bone. Gotcha. We have to give that time to heal mm -hmm. before we can, uh, before we can use it in full function. Mm -hmm. uh, so th that process between stages can sometimes take three to four months depending on how uh, the procedure. So Dr. Harrington, a lot of times patients avoid going to the dentist because of the costly price point associated with a lot of the procedures. Is that something they can expect when they're getting an implant? Uh, the price can vary quite a bit. Okay. Again, it depends on what the patient needs. Yeah. Uh, but we do have ways to uh, help the patient pay for it. We have some outside companies that help us to break things up into nice. payments. Um, and so we really work hard with our, uh, our treatment coordinating staff to try to figure out how to make it work for so each the, patient. So the cost of something shouldn't intimidate them from getting their treatment done. Absolutely. Okay, so if there are people out there who need a dentist appointment, need to get an implant done, maybe they need a little teeth cleaning action, how do they get in touch with Tryon Family Dentistry? Well, they can find us online at tryonfamilydentistry.com or feel free to give us a call anytime. Perfect. Thank you so much for having Thank us out. Thank you. The proceeding was sponsored by...